Hello and welcome to my video. I am crazy about Star Stable and I thought it would be fun to kind of talk about Star Stable, kind of a wrap up of things that happened last month in Star Stable and things that we can look forward to for this brand new month here in February. So I'm just gonna do some training, collect some light and we're just gonna chat and ride. So last month, Star Stable kicked off the brand new year in January. The very first horse that we got released was the Arden horses. We've got seven beautiful Arden horses that were released during the first week of January, which I have a Meet My Arden Horse video. That was my last video if you guys wanted to watch that and see what I named my Arden horses and kind of my thoughts on them, which, spoiler alert, they're beautiful. I love them. There was also a story snack that I actually forgot to film, but it was really good. It was about the little tree that we were growing, and Fripp actually said that it's kind of gone rogue, that the tree has kind of gone rogue, so don't know what's going on with that. That will be really interesting to see the story that is kind of behind that. There was also a bonus shop item during the first week. So this is a little bit of a spoiler here because we were only given the jacket. So if you are a paying star rider, this was in the bonus shop. We got just the jacket and this is known as the Royal Ascot dressage jacket, but here's the whole entire set. So eventually we are going to be getting each one of these pieces to make a complete rider and tack set. And it looks like we're also gonna be getting a little puppy. And this spoiler comes from CC Creations, who is the king of all spoilers. Okay, so I'll have the video linked below so you can actually see where this picture actually came from. We also got beautiful new tack. How gorgeous are these little tack sets? They have like constellations on them. I haven't had a chance to pick these up yet. I'm waiting for more wardrobe space, but how beautiful are these? You can either get them in black or in blue, and then you have your choice of metal between the gold or the silver tone metal. So there's four different different sets that are like the same, but you know, just a slight variation. So how beautiful are these? I love these. I definitely want to buy them. Then we got the second week of January and this is where we actually got a story quest. This was such a good, good quest. I really like this. I love that we were introduced to the fourth Dark Rider. We got to create this really crazy sun void in the sky. Sabine was up to her normal evilness. We saw Mr. Sands. It was just a great, great quest. Star Sable also revealed the top three Arden horses that were the most popular within the first day of release. And they are saying that the Bay Roan was the most popular one. So I was really surprised to see that, but I mean, that's a beautiful horse. So I'm really happy that Star Stable shared that with us. They also asked on their stories, wardrobe update, is it happening this year? Yes or no? And they responded saying wardrobe update is one of our main priorities for 2024. So I cannot wait for them to give us our new wardrobe. Where is it? I just wish we could just have a few more tabs instead of like this big, huge expanded wardrobe just in the meantime, just to, just to get us by. In the third week, we've got the Path of Terra. So that was really interesting that they introduced gardening into Star Stable, that you can craft some really interesting consumables. You can now craft hay for your horses. So now you don't have to just buy it. You can just collect enough plants. And same thing with like a travel potion. So you can easily take the trailer anywhere you want by just crafting a potion. You can get some horse XP. So that's pretty exciting. They also released a new tack set and clothing set from the Path of Terra. Really nice set for the rider, nice set for your horse. There was a new hairstyle and we got two new makeups, which were little freckles. How cute are those freckles? Really hard to kind of tell the difference between them. I think one is more of a pink and the other one's more of like an orangey peach undertone on the cheeks. There was a beautiful embossed saddlebag. We got four different earrings that you can get in the Hollow Woods. Pretty exciting that they're expanding on like additional accessories like that. They also announced that that the Frisian Sport Horse and the Frisian, both Gen 1, are going to be retired March 27th. They're gonna be removed from the game. So make sure if you want these two breeds, get them while you can because they are leaving the game permanently. And here we are now in the very last week of the Up in Jorvik and we just started February where we got the Waltz of the Fireflies, two new races in the Hollow Woods. But one of the races is extra special because one of them has multiple courses, which will be randomized. So that's a new feature that Star Stable added. So you can get a different course on this race whenever you try it out. Star Stable also shared on their stories this really funny picture of this horse that says, hello. hello. 
and it says guess the breed. Okay, does this horse look familiar? Does it look familiar at all? Okay, it should not look familiar because this is a brand new updated horse that's gonna be coming out. I don't know for sure, but it's my guess that this is the new Cell Francais horse that's coming out, that they're giving a little tiny sneak peek. They even responded by saying, many of you have guessed right, but I didn't actually see what people guessed. I'm thinking this is the Cell Francais sneak peek because they said that the flea bitten rose gray is one of the new Cell Francais colors that they had been working on. And doesn't that horse look flea bitten to you? It does to me. So I'm thinking that is our first sneak peek of the new updated breed that's gonna be coming very, very soon. They also did their January game blog where they talked about Orissa and creation of the Dark Rider. They actually showed concept drawings that they had of her so you can kind of see how she's evolved. So it was really nice kind of getting a little backstory about the creation of her and their ideas that they kind of had as they were creating her until we get to the final concept of exactly where she is now, which we have actually like yet to really meet her. She's just been kind of introduced to us in that last main quest. So it'll be really interesting to see like what is her personality like once we actually have more quests with her. But I love the concept drawings of how she could have looked. Like she could have gone pastel. She could have had a monster hat on her head. They also said in their game blog that they're gonna be adding dressage and lunging and that they're gonna be added in permanently as a feature this year. Other things that they're working on for 2024 is to improve your wardrobe and your home stable. Oh, I cannot wait for that. That would be really fun to actually customize home stable so whenever you invite people into your home stable, it could actually have like a more personalized look and feel of all the things that you picked out yourself, like from either colors or textures or furnitures or things. So I'm pretty excited about that. And of course, we all know how I feel about the wardrobe. We need it now. It's way overdue. All right, now that we talked about the previous month and things that happened, now let's see what is coming up next in Star Stable because they released their next up in Jorvik. Tainan and Phoebe, two magical color changing horses are gonna be coming to the Hollow Woods. And it looks like there might be like kind of a quest or something that goes with it because it says Phoebe has wandered off into the woods and Nanny is looking for her. Who is Nanny, you ask? It's one of the new pets. Yep, I talked about this before. We're getting three new pets. We're getting two unicorns, one of them being this beautiful black unicorn and the other one being this really nice kind of like woodsy lily pad kind of color changing unicorn too. Again, I will put the video link to CC Creations and an Instagram spoiler account that I follow. So you can check out the photos yourself. Improvements in user experience. Ooh, what is that? An alternative to drag and drop is now here. You can now press E to interact with things that require a quest item from your backpack. Updated look on our race screens to match our new UI style. We're also making a few daily races available to do more than once per day on all horses for rewards. That is gonna be really, really nice. Now that is a very good quality of life improvement in the game because when you have a lot of horses to train, just doing the races once is not enough. So I'm really happy to see that they're gonna be adding that in, that you can do races more than once for your horses to do some training. Lunging is back permanently. Yep, it looks like we're gonna have two weeks dedicated to just lunging. So they're gonna be putting a lunging paddock at Steve's. And then the last week of February, the lunging continues. The round paddocks around Starshine Ranch and the Baroness Racetrack are available for lunging as well. They also say that time can be so slow sometimes. Starting today, we give you the power to make it go faster. In some quests, you can interact with a mini game when a loading bar appears. Win it and continue your quest immediately, which that is gonna be perfect for YouTube videos because whenever they clock quests, oh, that just delays your YouTube video. And you know, we just like to all get through quests, right? We all like to just get through the quests and experience it. So that's something that they're gonna be implementing in at the end of February. Some other sneak peek things that I just wanted to talk about quickly that we can look forward to. I don't know the release dates on these as we've got some new saddle pads and some horse boots and a rider outfit to match. It looks like we've got this really nice kind of a peachy set, blue and olive green. These pictures are all courtesy of CC Creations. I will have the video linked below for the spoilers on this. Seems like it makes up a pretty nice tack set. That will be really nice. And we're also getting a new hat. Do you see that? There's like a little pom-pom on top of the helmet. This texture was shared on an Instagram spoiler account. I will have it linked below. So I don't know if maybe we might eventually get a beret. That would be nice to see. Also a spoiler from CC Creations is this really beautiful dressage set. We've got three different style horse boots, a really beautiful dressage saddle. And then we have these, it looks like four different bridles, but it's really a variation of 
pretty much just one. You either have the flash nose band or just a regular nose band. And then you pick your metals. You either want it in gold or you get it in silver. I love the dressage jacket. That white creamy color is very beautiful. I'm thinking this is going to be part of the equestrian festival coming up, but I don't know for sure. Also on the horizon are two new Dutch warm bloods and two new Lipizzaner horses. Also, I'm thinking those are gonna be for the equestrian festival that those are gonna be released. There's no pictures of them yet. There's no spoilers of them yet, but CC Creations had the information on that, that these new horses are going to be coming, that their placeholders are in the game, but their textures haven't been added. So we don't know what colors they are yet. So is that exciting? We're gonna get four new horses for the equestrian festival. Star Stable is coming for your star coins, careful. And it looks like we've got a really beautiful race coming that's gonna be inside of one of the arenas with like a moon and some clouds, celestial feel. Again, I will have the spoilers below. Of course, we can look forward to the Cell Francais. I keep talking about them because those horses right after the unicorns, which were a surprise. I had no idea the unicorns were coming. The Cell Francais, I'm thinking, is probably gonna be coming very, very shortly after. These are the colors we should kind of expect to come out, including that flea bitten gray. And the American Saddlebred is going to be coming. These are the colors that they've been working on. And they say that a flaxen liver chestnut pinto is brand new that they are working on too. I'm pretty excited about the American Saddlebred. That's a brand new breed that's gonna be added to the game. And on top of all of that, we can still expect horses to get retired, I'm sure. We still have the Generation 1 Andalusian horses that are still in game. I'm sure those are gonna get retired this year. That's my guess. And all 14 Generation 1 Yorbit ponies are probably gonna get retired too. Those are all at Ferdinand's Horse Market. Plus, they're probably gonna pull in a couple of Gen 2s possibly in there too to retire. Just a guess, that's just a guess. I don't have any information besides them just saying that they wanna cycle out their oldest horses. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this kind of chat and hang out with me, Star Stable news, spoilers, looking back, looking forward. I really enjoyed this. I love talking about Star Stable. If you have any Star Stable news or if you just wanna share anything, what have you been naming your horses? What horses have you picked up lately? What's going on with your clubs? Just how are you doing? I would love to know. Leave me a comment below. I want to start including your guys' comments too in like these monthly wrap-up videos. So I'd love to hear from you and thank you always for such sweet support. I'm so happy you're horse crazy just like I am. I'm sending you lots of hugs, hearts, and horses, and I will see you guys back in my next video. Bye, you guys.